Hey friends! Have you ever wondered how a zombie apocalypse might actually happen? And what life would look like fighting to survive among the undead? Well, wonder no more. In today's video, we're going deep on the science behind a zombie outbreak, how to make it through the aftermath alive, and most importantly, how we might prevent an undead rising in the first place. Grab some supplies, barricade the doors, and let's unravel the mysteries of the zombie apocalypse. Section 1, The Virus Explained Okay, before we begin, let's ground this in some actual science. While the classic Romero-style zombies are supernatural, most experts agree a realistic zombie plague would stem from a viral or fungal infection. One potential candidate is the cordyceps fungus, which can brainwash insects like ants into serving its bidding. Now imagine a mutation that allows cordyceps to start infecting humans. Airborne spores infect patient zero, hijacking their brain and sending them shambling off to infect others. Another possibility is a lab-engineered virus meant to regenerate damaged tissue or prevent brain decay. An unforeseen mutation allows it to bring dead cells back to life, essentially reanimating corpses. In either case, the resulting zombie virus would act quickly, likely spreading via fluids like saliva or blood into new hosts. It would leave victims disoriented and violent, but with enough base motor functions to stumble around and spread the contagion. We're talking a full-on viral zombie pandemic. The stuff of nightmares, for sure, but grounded in scientific possibility. Section 2, The Aftermath. Now let's imagine the zombie virus got loose, the dead are rising, and society itself begins to collapse. What next? First priority is getting out of population centers with their millions of potential zombies. Head for the hills or look for isolated areas like islands or oil rigs you can secure and defend. Scavenge for food and supplies wherever you can. Get your hands on weapons to fight off zombie hordes. With infrastructure failing, electricity, internet, and civil order will soon vanish. Form groups with other survivors when possible for safety and resources. Watch for zombie bites or the first feverish symptoms of infection. A cure is unlikely, so quarantine or terminate infections before they turn. It will be a dark time, with survival the main focus. But humans are resilient. We believe pockets of civilization and humanity will endure even among the undead wasteland. Section 3, How to Survive Alright, we know zombies crave living flesh. But with vigilance and the right strategies, you can avoid becoming their next meal. First, move quietly and avoid detection when possible. Zombies rely on sound and movement to hunt. Mask your human scent with zombie goo and shamble when in the open. Use distractions like fireworks or loud sounds to divert zombie hordes away from you. Know your terrain and have multiple escape routes scouted. When forced to fight, go for headshots to take zombies down quick. Use weapons with reach like bats or poles to keep distance. And never let your guard down, one bite and it's game over. Fortify positions with walls, traps, and alarms. Designate lookouts and send scouts on supply runs. Cooperate with other survivors when possible, but be wary of those looking to exploit the apocalypse. Follow these tips, and you just might have a shot at making it through Judgment Day. Section 4, Prevention Okay, while zombie survival is crucial, wouldn't it be better if an outbreak never happened at all? Luckily, there are some precautions we can take. Better oversight is needed on labs studying dangerous pathogens, an accidental leak could be apocalyptic. Regulate neural tech and tissue regrowth research to prevent zombie-style mutations. Swiftly isolate and treat any novel viral infections before they spread globally. 
have contingency plans to shut down traffic and lock down cities if needed. Educate the public on preparedness plans, first aid, weapons training, and survival skills. Foster community, compassion and cooperation, in a disaster we must stand together. And of course, lobby lawmakers to take the zombie threat seriously. Undead preparedness protocols will save lives. We can get ahead of this nightmare scenario through vigilance and care for our fellow humans. Conclusion The zombie apocalypse may seem outlandish, but with plausibility in the right planning, it doesn't have to be our fate. We've explored how a zombie plague could arise, what the resulting fallout might entail, crucial tips for survival, and most importantly, prevention through awareness and public policy. While scary to contemplate at times, preparedness is empowering, and fosters hope. And if someday those grey shambling hordes do threaten our doorsteps, we'll be ready to give them hell. Let me know what you think we missed, and stay safe out there friends. This is your Apocalypse Survival Guide, signing off.